Intentionally Unknown wants to know whether you can start dreadlocks with layers in your hair. Um, so, layered hair is pretty normal. When you're starting dreadlocks, you're generally having sort of medium to longish length hair. I know that's sort of subjective as to what you consider to be medium to long hair. But you've normally got some hair going on and not some buzz cut, because you need some hair to form the dreadlocks with, right? Pretty much anyone that's grown their hair out to a reasonable length is going to have some sort of layers in the hairs. It's not just going to come out like some sort of cartoon cut out all to one sort of bowl cut length. So in sort of reality, pretty much anyone that started dreadlocks has had some sort of layering going on in their hair. Not all the hairs have been exactly the same length. And it's really not a big deal, as you might imagine, considering everyone has some sort of variation. The only thing you gotta look out for is you gotta make sure that all the layers are long enough to start the dreadlocks with. So if you have like layers that are like the longest ones are only just start enough to really dread and the rest are kind of really short, you can end up in a mess there because you might find that all the hairs that are really short kind of just all pop out of the dreads really easily. So you got a lot of um, sort of short fuzz, sort of a halo um, to begin with. There's gonna be fuzz with young dreads anyway, so like throwing extra short hairs there in the mix, not a great idea. Um, but yeah, the only thing you're gonna really notice is as long as all the hair is long enough, the dreads might sort of be a bit thinner at the ends versus near the top if it's really um, heavily layered hair. But in fairness, most dreads are gonna have some sort of variation along them. If you start your dreads even with all the hair exactly the same length, they're not all gonna come out identical. Some are gonna be longer than others, some are gonna be slightly thicker, some are gonna be slightly thinner. And it's just gonna get sort of more variable. There's gonna be more variance as the dreadlocks start to lock up. So, layers in your hairs, no worries, no problems. If you've got the hair length for it, you can do it. If you enjoyed this quick video, do consider giving it a quick thumbs up if we get 200 thumbs ups, then there'll be another Q&A video at the same time next week. Sound good? Cool? Yep. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to, you can leave me some comments down in the comment section below and maybe I'll answer your question next week. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Farewell.